Good afternoon, everybody. I hope that you're well and keeping healthy and busy. Today, we are doing another shared um, webinar on skin detoxification with the lovely Teresa Stencil and Barbara Anu. So enjoy. It's the first time that I've watched it as well. So uh, let's watch it together. All righty. I'm going to share my screen and we'll go from there. Oh, how do I do that? There we go. And I'm going to make this bigger. And off we go. Enjoy. Teresa and Barbara. We'll be pulling the audience throughout. So when a question pops up on your screen with answer choices, we will ask that you please participate and submit your answer and then share the results so that we can see uh, what our what our thoughts and opinions are, which is great. Immediately following this webinar, you'll be prompted to take a one-minute survey on the quality of this webinar. So now let me just begin by introducing my, my partner in crime, my co-presenter today, my uh, Wellman Senior Educator, Barbara Arnell. Oh, I'm so glad to be here today, um, Teresa and everyone else listening. I think this is a topic that a lot of people have a lot of questions about. We have clients that come in with these specific needs, and I, this is going to be fantastic to address it and help to also see the products and also the different techniques that we show you that really help to conduct the design process. Right, great. So let's begin by talking about what we're going to focus on today. Now, first of all, skin physiology, and I know uh, estheticians have to go hit or patter when we talk about skin physiology. Today, we're going to focus on the hydrolytic barrier because it is such a huge component of what it means to have a healthy and balanced skin. We're then going to delve into intrinsic and extrinsic aging factors that both cause skin toxicity toxicity, boy, that's a tough word I'm going to have to struggle with today, uh, that lead to accelerated aging. We're also going to focus on the science behind skin detoxification, what we can do in the treatment room through the vitamin and OBP tox facial. Uh, we'll be focusing on the highlights of this facial that really target detoxification through both techniques and formulas. We're then going to make some professional recommendations uh, many, many of our products detoxify the skin, but we're going to focus on some of the top ones that you definitely should spend your clients home with. And we're also going to uh, give you an opportunity to have some Q&A and also share with you some common uh, questions that we can get. But before we start, we do have uh, some poll questions that I would like to start with. Uh, today just to get the ball rolling. So the first one is, what's, which skin concerns do your clients complain to you about? Would it be loss of firm, sagging skin, hyperpigmentation, C, lines and wrinkles, D, rough skin texture, E, melia and congestion. So let's just give uh, a chance for our attendees to vote. Oh, look at all those votes coming in. Who's winning, Barbara, so far? A, B, C, or D? Or D? Uh, oh, it's, it's, D's moving ahead. Have your pigmentation. Nope, nope. It's being taken over by C, lines and wrinkles. Lines and wrinkles is winning. Wow. What's interesting, though, is uh, I'm going to share the results here. So that you can see, it looks like uh, he's the winner, uh, lines and wrinkles. Good, good, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, give the floor over to Barbara so we can continue on. Good job, everyone. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to look at some very interesting statistics that we have here for you. Um, the first um, that I'm going to go over um, is, uh, if you guys see 42.1 million, um, that's referring to um, people that are smokers. 
Um, and it's 42.1 million adults here in the United States that currently yeah. smoke cigarettes. So that's, that can go back to thinking about a client that comes in that um, there's not as much oxygen come to the cells. They're dull. They're sallow. Um, they're congested. Um, so think about that for a couple minutes with these clients that come in with these concerns. Um, and the next one, I'm going to go over to um, 53.1%. And that's referring to people eat some type of fast food every single day, which can lead to um, complexion issues, acne, um, you know, all junk goes in, junk comes out, nothing's going to be the client's skin is not going to look very healthy, um, it's going to be very sluggish possibly, and then um, also 80% of the adults in the U.S. don't get enough of recommended exercise, and that exercise is so important to keep the immune system in that top working condition so we can actually detoxify um, every single day. So is that lagging comparatively with all these other things that we're seeing going on in the skin? That's giving uh, light to how many people out there are going through regular issues with uh, their skin isn't detoxified. They're not seeing that glowing look to their skin any longer. So here's um, here's what we're going to be seeing. If you take a look in the left-hand corner, the 42.1 million, that's referring to cigarette smokers. And then we have 53.1% that is um, relating to regular drinkers here that, you know, we, we were talking about just a moment ago. I think this one in four uh, people that eat some type of fast food, that is quite, um, that is quite high for our, um, uh, our culture, actually. And then we have 80% of adults in the U.S. that don't get enough exercise. So when you have all this going on, the body just can't detoxify itself. And of course, the skin is the barometer showing all these things that are happening. I think this is really important, Teresa, um, and I'm going to hand it over to you to talk a little bit further about other things that are going on um, in the skin and can relate to some additional issues. I think it's interesting that it was saying that, um, you know, people that just have 12 drinks a year are considered regular drinkers. I, I, that, that kind of shocked me. I thought, ooh, <laughs> that's that's a lot of people in this country. <laughs> so now let's focus on our first visual. This is our hydrolipidic barrier. And as we stated before, it's so important to have a balanced hydrolipidic barrier because this is our defense mechanism. This is part of our skin's immune system that helps to uh, protect our, our bodies and the inner layers of the skin from all of the extrinsic aging factors that we're going to be talking about. But I love this, uh, these two circles here that are interlocked because it kind of puts it all in a nice little nutshell of what we need to have, the essential components for healthy skin barrier function. We need to have an equal balance of sebum, which is the lipidic portion. We need an equal balance of the H2O, which is your high girl, and the natural moisture factor. And you can see in our visuals down here, uh, a representation of what this looks like. And the sebum kind of intersperses in between the corneocytes. Um, the natural moisture factor is represented by these little dots here, and then the H2O. So underneath it is the uppermost layer of the epidermis, which is called the stratum corneum. So once we get to this point of the epidermis, we're talking about desquamation and skin cell turnover. So the more balanced the skin surface barrier is, the stronger the skin is going to be and the better it's going to be able to withstand all of these stressors that we're going to be telling you about. Well, I think that is really a wonderful visual that shows that. I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit about um, some aging factors. Here we're going to be talking about intrinsic and extrinsic aging factors that can cause skin um, toxicity. I can't say the word either today, Teresa. <laughs> That's a tough um, word. It just is. <laughs> so when we're looking at intrinsic, I want you to think about internal. This is something
something. This is our internal clock that we all have set um, from ancestry. So whether you age fast or quick has a lot to do with this. But let's go over and, and talk about each one of these. So thermal collagen decreases with our internal um, aging. Um, this will lead to more skin moisture loss. The dermis is thinning, uh, which leads then to the fine wrinkles that begin to appear. And that's when we're saying, um, the client is saying, oh my goodness, I have all these fine lines, or I have these lines of wrinkles, what can I do? And that's an increase in deepen over time, which leads to melanin production decreases. Um, the loss of all over color, that's going to add to the uneven pigments spots on the same side so it can be a very unhealthy look to the skin and then when you look at this next one the decrease of hair follicles and sebaceous glands with um, oily skins you would think that they'd be really happy about this but this is really going to hinder um, that skin barrier function that we were just talking about in the previous um, slide here so it's going to set things off and things are just not going to be working as beneficially as they were. We have a wonderful pro tip here at the bottom. Anti-aging facials should begin while your client is still in his or her 20s to keep the skin strong, um, healthy, more resistant to the toxic effects of intrinsic aging. I see that question a lot, Teresa. When should I start these anti-aging things? And, and a lot of times um, you hear that people think that they should wait till they're older. Um, but as we've talked about, just with exercise and everything else, you want to get the, the system healthy. And it's a good idea to get the skin going through its proper steps early to keep that natural and youthful look much longer. What do you think about that, Teresa? Absolutely. I get that question quite a bit. And, and I don't know really how that myth got started. I mean, it would be like saying, you know, don't don't start exercising or eating right until you're in your 40s. You know, uh, I, I think the skin, just like any other system of our body or organ of our body, is the younger you start anti-aging prevention, the uh, the stronger the organ will be, the better it will be able to withstand these stresses that we're talking about. And the longer you're going to look younger and, uh, and healthier looking and feeling skin, it, it, it just seems like a no-brainer to me, but that just tells me that there's more education that we need to um, give to our clients. You know, it has to be nonstop. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the extrinsic aging factors. Now, these are the factors that happen from the outside in that affect us. And the first one is going to be climate. Now, whether you're living in a, uh, a very warm, humid, uh, and hot area or a dry hot area, whether you have extremes and cold, uh, lack of humidity, wind, all of these things are going to affect how our skin performs and how fast we age, particularly if we don't take the steps to protect it. Pollution. You know, we used to say, well, if you live in the city, you're going to have pollution. Well, frankly, I don't think it matters anymore where you live. Uh, although, obviously, in urban areas, there's going to be more issues with smog, um, you know, but everywhere. Toxic gases, the environment, free radicals, uh, these are being absorbed right into the skin. And again, if, if the client is not taking steps to help prevent the skin and add some breathable barriers and, and give that skin some nutrition, uh, it, it just can be a sitting cut. Now, poor nutrition, that's on us, poor diet. Uh, foods that are, uh, you know, highly processed, high in, in sugar is going to lead to uh, glycation, skin glycation, which is a hot topic right now. Foods that are high in sodium, trans fat, there's no nutrition, they're incredibly dehydrating, and the skin is just going to become more resistant and toxic. Medication, that is a huge problem today. That's why on our skin reading form, we want to know if our clients are on any medication. It's one Even over the counter, uh, they all increase skin sensitivity level and weaken the skin's immune system. So it's, it's good to know that. And stress, I mean, who on this planet is under a lot of stress right now? But the stress hormone cortisol 
greatly increases, which literally affects how our body and how our skin performs. You'll fight or flight syndrome. So you'll have an increase in sebum production, uh, hydration levels, uh, you know, can increase or decrease depending on what's going on. But there is definitely vasoconstriction of the microcirculation, which means your cells getting less nutrition. And then lifestyle habits. UV exposure, smoking, uh, you know, 90% of all visible age signs are caused by uh, UV exposure, and I think smoking is probably number two. Um, sedentary lifestyle and lack of sleep uh, plays a huge part in our skin's performance. And lack of sleep is important because as we sleep, this is when our skin is working its hardest to repair itself. So if we don't have that, that restful sleep, that REM sleep, that stress hormone cortisol is just going to run rampant in the body, which is going to further weaken the skin's ability to repair itself, um, and then therefore accelerating skin aging. So it, unfortunately, this all works together, and um, it, it compounds as we get older. which um, leads us to just kind of looking again at intrinsic and extrinsic aging factors, which lead to the short-term skin function impairments. So here's a few to think about. As Teresa was talking about before, once the hormones are kind of deactivated, if you will, and then reactivated, we have a big problem going on, and then we go into the dead skin buildup, which I'm sure you all have seen on the surface of the skin where you see more surface wrinkles, they're increasing, that hydrolytic barrier is, is really thrown out of balance um, from, if you guys want to look back or if you can think back to that visual that's showing how, how everything should work perfectly. When it's thrown out of balance, this is the first thing we're seeing is those surface wrinkles increasing. And then with that being out of whack, lots of pores just tend to um, make their way to um, a big problem. So we have the dead skin buildup, we have the clogged pores, we get the congestion, we get the breakout, and then we're after we're in this kind of um, feel, the skin is just not going in the proper direction, we end up with dull sluggish skin and the skin loses its vibrancy and it's left looking very drab and very lifeless. And here comes that rough texture. So on top of all these other issues, the wrinkles, the congestion, now the rough texture is also coming into play. And then <laughs> with the transepidermal water loss, or tool, the skin loses its ability to absorb and retain that moisture. So it's really out of whack at this point. And as it is, the skin then becomes much weaker to function properly. So let's just look here at the next little slide that we're going to. We're going to be talking about that transepidermal water loss. Um, it's going to show you a fantastic visual that's coming right up here in just a second. Um, so you're going to see that if you take a look here, you're seeing the heat and the UV light in the dry air. It's just attacking the surface of our skin. And the skin is trying to work its very best with all the things that are going on in our environment, trying to keep that natural moisture uh, factor in place. But if you see with these arrows, it's just kind of going off our skin entirely, and it's leaving our skin very dehydrated. And then if you want to take a look too, um, if you see the uh, H2O or water that's depicted in these little blue balloons, they're just kind of, um, they're, it's out away from us, kind of going away. Uh, we have the stratocardium here that's at the surface, but we have these other things in place, just like our other visual, trying to keep everything in that perfect balance, but when we're losing all of this, it's very hard to keep things um, staying in its normal capacity. You, have, you see the corneocytes at the very surface of the skin, and all of these things, the sebum um, that's trying to keep that perfect uh, balance at the surface is also lifting or, or leaving us as the heat the UV light, the dry air is just kind of bombarding us 
every single day. So when you have that transepidermal water loss, this is what's actually happening on the surface of the skin. And the surface just can't do its job correctly. So we need to look to other avenues. And so we're going to be find, we'll be talking about this in a couple minutes, but I want you to keep this visual kind of close in, in your memory as we talk further about all these things that are going on in the skin. I'm going to go ahead and let Teresa then talk a little bit more about what's going on um, with our skin as we keep going forward here. Definitely. Now, obviously, it, it's in, a, in the best case scenario, we would get to these issues before they become long term. But if left unchecked, this buildup of poor skin function does lead to advanced toxicity. So let's uh, start out by talking about weakened capillary function. And, you know, Barbara Salomon, who's the owner and founder of Bioelement, she's always said that the fountain of youth is found in the bloodstream. And this is so true because the circulatory system is responsible for transferring oxygen, nutrients, and ridding the skin of waste. So as we get older, the circulatory system automatically slows down. But compound that with all the extrinsic um, aging factors that we talked about, then you really have a skin that is starved for oxygen, nutrients, and waste that starts to build up, becoming more toxic. And then we have the lymphatic system, which moves more slowly. Now, this leads to excess metabolic waste and toxins. And uh, we're going to learn more about the lymphatic system, but this is the, probably the weakest system of the body, so we have to help it along. Now, our connective tissue. Now, these are the tissues that are responsible for keeping our skin firm and pliable, our collagen and elastin, just like a mattress box spring and the, um, the springs that keep our skin elastic. They begin to lose their function, so therefore, the skin begins to sag lines and wrinkles worsen, and collagen is one of the main connective tissues in the dermis that helps to hold on to our moisture and, and stabilizes our natural moisturizing factor. So as it loses its strength, again, we have that trend of the dermal water, water loss running rampant and our uh, dermis begins to thin. Then we have hyperpigmentation increasing. So cumulative UV exposure, cumulative means five minutes here, 10 minutes there uh, throughout our life. UV exposure, uh, hormonal imbalances, and post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation increases. And here's something we haven't uh, talked a lot about in the past, lipofuscin. Now, this is often confused with hyperpigmentation, but in actuality, these are yellow to brown pigments, age pigments that uh, these are the causes that develop due to free radical buildup, so it has nothing to do with UV exposure. But what they do is they hinder cell repair and replication, so they are literally attacking the skin's ability to repair and regenerate itself. The skin becomes more reactive as a result of all of these things we're talking about, so it will become more sensitive, more sensitized. Um, these symptoms will become more common, the more toxic Skin becomes. So that means you're going to have to make changes in your treatments and your clients take home to account for the sensitivity. Sometimes you're going to have to heal that skin before you can, can really uh, focus on detoxifying that skin. And the natural moisture factor in the dermis and epidermal barrier decreases. And this is, I, I think, uh, TEWL and lots of uh, natural moisture factor is the underlying cause of so many things that we have to deal with. And that's because that allows the increase of pathogens and, and allergens to make their way into our skin. So it really boils down to what are we doing to help increase the skin's ability to heal and regenerate itself. Okay, so here's another visual that demonstrates another component uh, this is the epidermal barrier that is located in the lower part of the stratum cornea. So here you see the corneocytes. We have um, our intact lipid lamellae, which you see flowing into here. Our natural moisture fat, moisturizing factor is represented by these little orange 
uh, peach color dots. Now, corneodesmosome, these are um, basically little connected specialized junctions that bridge corneocytes together. And these junctions disintegrate as the corneocyte makes its way up to the skin surface, and this results in desquamation. This is the part of desquamation uh, that helps our cells lift up, and that's part of what comprises our, our uh, hydrolipidic barrier. So again, this is another part of, uh, of the skin's function that we need to help keep in balance. I love that visual. It shows quite a bit about what's going on there. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, what I also want to uh, bring attention to is our next little slide about what is skin detoxification. We need to kind of delve into that and really come out with a wonderful plan. So first we need to know what it is. It's improving and optimizing the function of your skin's detoxification system. So that's one thing we want to remember as we go forward. So um, the top four ways for the skin to detoxify itself, I'm going to take the first one. Um, the skin perspiration via the sweat glands um, is really an important way of how we're detoxifying and also bringing that um, hydration kind of right to the surface of the skin. So um, the glands that are responsible for this are the eccrine gland and the apocrine gland. Now, they're the excretory glands that provide the following detoxifying benefits. So let's let's view those. There's this first little bullet point um, that uh, says they separate waste from blood and eliminate it as sweat. Sweat is so very beneficial because it's going to serve uh, to cool um, cool the body and help it maintain a stable body temperature. I think that's really fascinating the way our system really does um, two things at the same uh, time. Um, so we're going to be looking at that. And then I've got uh, another little did you know for you um, that's very important too. And this is the average person has 2 million sweat glands. Um, I, I just can't get over how many sweat glands we have all over, but that just shows you how the detoxifying process is so absolutely perfect in balancing that um, the temperature, um, keeping that water to the surface, and detoxifying us all at the same time. Um, don't you think that's very fascinating, Teresa? I do, and, and I think it's important because it just shows how complex the organ of the skin is. Now, I'm going to take number two. Um, the second way the skin detoxifies itself is circulatory system. Hopefully everybody can see the screen. Now, I'm going to focus on the, the, the lifeblood, if you will, of the skin because everything that happens through the circulatory system, as we said before. Now, how does it work? The, um, circulatory system is lucky that it does have a heart that is a pump that drives blood flow at a steady pace, increasing or decreasing depending on many factors. It's not something that we have to think about. But now, this is important because this is the, the super highway where all of our essential amino acids, fatty acids, glucose, and white blood cells, antibodies that descend us from infection. All of the goodies are transferred throughout our body, but also through the, uh, the skin cells through capillary diffusion, which we'll talk about more definitely in a minute. Now, this is the process where essential nutrients are transferred to the blood cells. But a healthy cell has to be able to take oxygen, moisture, nutrients. Uh, the nucleus needs to feed, and then whatever's left over, the waste is then released back from the cells back to the venial and then reabsorbed into the body. And then vasodilation. This is where 
the, the capillary to actually increase, they open up, which allows more blood flow. Um, and this is important because as we get older, the circulatory system naturally slows down. And then with uh, lifestyle habits, such as smoking, we have, you know, a problem with vasoconstriction, uh, UV damage destroys blood vessels and capillaries. So this is something that we need to um, stimulate as much as we can through every single treatment that we perform, every single technique that we use, uh, every single product that we send our clients home with. Now, one thing that I do want to address, we had a question come through. Uh, there was a uh, part of the one visual called filigrin or pro filigrin, which we didn't address. Now, uh, just to let you know, filigrin and pro filigrin are uh, proteins that bind keratin fibers in epithelial cells. So that's just part of the desquamation process as the skin, as the cells are getting ready to um, lift off, those proteins dissolve. So I hope that, I hope that answers that question. I believe Don asked that question. Okay, so here's another did you know. In one square inch of skin, there are 15 feet of capillaries. They're just like there's 15 feet of lymphatic vessels in one square inch of skin. Uh, not only is this, this a complex organ, it's made in a microscope that everything is. And uh, without thinking about it, this organ just plays an extremely important part in the health of our, of our entire body. Are we ready to one of these? kind of work together if you see one and two. We're going on to number three now, which we're going to address the lymphatic system. This is a fantastic network of organs, the lymph nodes, the ducts that are helping uh, with all the debris and the vessels that make and move the lymph tissue to the bloodstream so it can actually detoxify, get all that moving. I, I think of the lymph like a phenomenal vacuum cleaner, kind of keep it, getting all that excess and take it to the blood to go ahead and detoxify. Um, it's going to be very necessary for us to understand how lymph actually works. Now, the heart has absolutely no effect on the lymph itself. The lymph moves by movement. Um, Lymph fluid is actually driven by our own breathing, our own movement, um, at a much slower pace than how the heart is actually pumping things. Um, I'm sure all of you have seen lymph fluid when you're doing an extraction. It's that, uh, that clear that comes out. Um, it also can be a, a, a tad white fluid that contains uh, bacteria-fighting lymphocytes and proteins and fats that can be transferred throughout the system. Um, I believe lymphatic diffusion is very important. The vessels, um, think of it this way, they kind of are semi-permeable, meaning um, they're allowing waste to pass in through the vessel wall, but they can't uh, pass back out. So once it gets in there, it's not leaving. It's, it's not going to go back out again. It's going to leave uh, the system going into the blood and getting, getting rid of those toxins. Again, the lymph cannot move without movement. So somebody that's more sedentary, this is getting back to when we were talking about um, extra, proper exercise. Um, that's making uh, the detoxification process work. Uh, we also have other ways of having the lymph work uh, in skin of the face by movements that we're going to be talking about. I think this is very fascinating, the way the lymphatic system actually moves. It has a big part in our detoxification process. And I have another little did you know here. Um, lymph movement can be increased through touch, through pressure, through product. Even products moving, that's helping detoxify and exercise. So we have uh, many different ways that we can help detoxify our clients when they come to see us. And even in a healthy individual, someone who is active, 
lymph moves on average only one to two inches per hour. And so if that kind of brings home to you just how weak the lymphatic system is, uh, we need to do all we can to help to uh, move it forward. And that's why it's so easy for toxins to build up in our skin. It's so, so I'm going to take some yeah, time. I'm sorry. Yeah, it takes some time. That's okay. Go ahead, Teresa. No, we, we're very we're very passionate about the lymphatic system, and it, and it is a system that that um, causes a lot of confusion. Not very many people understand it, and it is one of the weakest systems of our body. So it actually does need our help. Now I'm going to take number four because breakouts um, are often confused with acne. That isn't always why breakouts develop, and this is one example. Capsules, pustules, cister nodules develop on the skin. And in this case, it's the body's way of trying to rid itself of a buildup of toxins in the body. Now, we can be caused by sluggish metabolism. Uh, anything from constipation, medications. If you've ever become ill and had to take medication and you noticed your skin breaks out, if you had to take antibiotics, that's an example, uh, for a function or disease. This is for an important reason why we are not allowed to diagnose, uh, because there are many other uh, uh, skin disorders and, and actually manifest themselves with breakouts. So just keep this in mind. Now, approach it. Capsules and pustules are filled with pus. I know that uh, Barbara mentioned this earlier. One of the reasons you don't want to extract these is because you are in a sense, slowing down the body's ability to heal itself. And you also run the risk of scarring the skin. Um, so that's, that's important to remember. Okay, so even though the body works hard to detoxify itself, today's clients often have so much toxicity in their body, in their skin, that they need our help. Now I do have another poll question here that I'm going to uh, run right now. And it just disappeared. So while we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, have Barbara introduce the, the facial and then we'll go back to the poll. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, Teresa. So we're going to be talking about the vitamin mineral deep detox facial now and the different parts of it that make it so unique to really address all the issues we were talking about when we started this webinar. So first of all, let's take a, a look at uh, one of the first ones here. It really is designed to target dullness, dehydration, rough texture in the skin, and congestion. And those were one of the, the very top topics that we were talking about earlier when we first began a webinar. Um, when you look at um, the next one here, it consists of specialized professional techniques. We have uh, very unique techniques that are combined in the facial with the product that help the skin resist and repair that damage from both the internal, your internal clock that's ticking away, and the external stressors that you're coming in contact with all the time. These clients are going to see a difference because we're addressing all of these. And then by Wellness, we're a wonderfully customized line, and we are going to continue that customization in every step to ensure a complete control in the treatment room. So it's going to make it very easy for the esthetician to make the proper choices to help skin of the client detoxify. And the a client is also going to achieve a stronger, healthier skin that will look much more vibrant. It will be glowing and much more younger looking. It's very wonderful now treatment. Do, good, good. And now I do have the poll ready to launch. So we'll go ahead and do that now. So the poll question is, which facial service do your clients request most often? Let's see. See what we've got. Is it A peels, B anti aging, B firming, B pigment lightening, or E calming? So, right now, it looks like anti aging services are definitely winning. Peels are right behind. Barb, do you see? 
Um, uh, no, I'm not seeing that right yet on my screen. Okay. Let me figure out what's this thing here. Well, everyone's everyone's voting in, so so our audience is seeing it. Well, that's good. I'm just kind of out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it looks like let's go ahead and show the poll results. And it looks like uh, B Anti Aging Services has definitely won. Followed. Oh, we have a tie. Uh, peels and farming treatments are are uh, second. Uh, seven percent D pigment lightening, and then we have E, which is calming. Okay, so now we can get back to who needs it. Okay, so when it comes to the advanced vitamin OBC test facial, we definitely want to uh, ask this question. So, who do you think needs this treatment? I do. Honestly, <laughs> I do. The real, the real question is, who, who doesn't need this treatment? I, I think that we, we've demonstrated just by the, um, uh, all of the, the comments that we've talked about and the intrinsic and extrinsic aging factors that, that there probably isn't a human being on this planet that, that couldn't benefit from this treatment. Okay, so let's talk about, we're going to highlight the vitamineral DC text facial and how it detoxifies the skin. And it, and it does so in two ways. Uh, first, through bioelement signature techniques. It isn't always about the product. It's, it's how the um, uh, products are applied and the professional treatments that can only be performed in your treatment room as well as the formulas. So let's first talk about some of the techniques that we're going to be using in this treatment. Uh, steam, something as simple as steam, steam towels, warm water during uh, especially the cleansing and the exfoliation step. And that's because, you know, when you're dealing with a skin that is very toxic, you have to uh, prep the skin. You have to, to get it ready uh, to accept all of the ingredients, uh, the profession needs all the ingredients, and, and kind of break through that crust that often occurs with the toxic skin. So steam is going to warm up the skin, it's going to increase capillary dilation, which will surge blood flow, blood flow through the tissues to move toxins. It's also going to soften the skin itself and soften the follicles. And this is going to be important because we want to uh, be able to increase product penetration as much as possible in a skin that is very resistant and has rough texture. Also, if you have a client that has comedones, uh, blackheads, and patches that need to be extracted, this step is extremely important. So a pro tip is just to remember and keep in the back of your mind, it's not always the formula that helps in to detoxify. It's often um, the techniques that need to be combined in order to get the results that our clients are looking for. That's wonderful. So when you're taking a look here at the vitamin oil deep detox facial, we have some preparation points that I want to go over. Um, as Teresa was talking about, we want to warm the skin. We want to prepare the skin. So to do that, we're going to preheat that steamer. Um, so it's going to be able to activate things that we're putting on the skin right at the beginning, even in the cleansing. Um, we're going to get a warm water in our bowl. Um, and then perform the first look, which sometimes I hear some of the um, estheticians are not always doing right away at the very beginning. This is a place you want to do this before you get started, because you can make mental note of what you're seeing on the skin before you even touch them. Um, and then you want to prepare a nice hot necklace. This is going to slide under the client's neck. It's going to be wonderful to relax the clients, relax those muscles, but it's also it's going to be nice and warm for removal of product. Again, it's going to be nice and warm. 
keep everything um, kind of loose and ready for you uh, to work with them. And then you're going to also um, get this bioelement signature technique of aroma breathing that's going to give them that perfect relaxation and benefit. So as you do that preparation work, we're going to move right into working with pre-cleansing now. And this I, let, me stop, to, let me stop you for just a second, Barb, because we do have a question that came through that, that oh, we sure. want to address from Abby. And she says that she's an oncology esthetician and she's asking if this product can be used or this treatment can be used for patients going through or have finished treatment. So I'm assuming by treatment we're talking about chemotherapy or radiation therapy. Um, I, I think with any facial, um, just because we are detoxifying and, and you know we're moving lymph, and you know obviously that's how cancer can travel um, through the skin. I think it would be really important to work with the clients or the patients out there, and not perform any facials until you get written permission from the doctor that it's safe to do so. Would you agree, Barbara? Yes, I I, I agree. But once you get that okay, this is going to be a wonderful treatment for them. And Tracy, you brought up a great point. When you're talking about cancer, uh, moving lymph is going to be the one thing that you want to be careful of. So um, the doctor may give specific uh, um, instructions in that instance as to how to go forward with that, yes. with that service. Yes. Another... Um couple questions that we've come through is, is it safe for pregnant clients? Um, I would say, you know, on the whole, yes, but because there's an instance of an increase of touch sensitivity, product sensitivity in all degrees, uh, if you're all concerned, you know, have them check with their doctor. And, and also, um, another good question is, well, what do you tell clients who want extractions of pustules and papules and, and we're not supposed to do that. <laughs> they all want those gone, don't they, Barbara? So, so oh, what's yeah. the best way to to let them know that we can take care of them with that extractions and that's the best idea? Well, you really want to let them know that it, that doing that extraction of a pustule uh, might actually cause extreme damage to the skin. First of all, we don't know how long the pustule's been there. And I always look at a pustule similarly to an iceberg. You see that top, but you don't know what's going on underneath. And I just let my clients know that I'm going to let the products do the work. I am not going to be forcing anything because that could actually cause a bigger problem. Remember what's in us, we've got a lot of bacteria, and, and that can create even bigger problems should I go ahead and uh, do exactly what the client wants. I want to let them know the product is going to do the job instead of me forcing the issue. And that's, that's right. quite a bit, Treat. I think a lot of clients come and they, they think in a facial all that's going to be gone. And sometimes, in, one, in one day. <laughs> right. one tree. Yeah. And sometimes the skin is so dehydrated that even in moving a pustule, it doesn't want to move. So if you're starting in there, you might be forcing something to happen too quickly. So again, we're going to work in baby steps because the skin is way out of balance at that point with those pustules. And we really need to help get the skin in tune with us again. Um, that's that's the way I would tell them, and, and they always understand that, and they want to move forward to have the best result possible. Um, I'm going to go ahead and explain pre-cleansing now. Do we have any other questions, Teresa, that you want to address before I move forward? No, we're quite in. And actually, we've got a lot more to cover, so I might be answering quite a few of these after the webinar moving forward. Go ahead. Okay, so let me let me get this done so we can move forward. So in our pre-cleansing step, it's the first time you touch your client's face, and it's going to give a great indicator of the skin sensitivity. You'll be able to see that right there. And it also helps you to see, as in the, the knowledgeable esthetician, the nature of your client's complexion without makeup. And you never, ever want to skip this step. This is a very crucial step in the bioelements facial. Okay, and I'm going to talk about a couple of our product choices. Now, we do have two 
both are wonderful for the treatment and, and really the one you choose is just dependent on your skin reading and your client's skin type and your client preferences. I love Jen's cream on it remover for first time clients, for clients that have uh, extra sensitive skin, that have a drier skin type, that um, you know, they have visibly sensitized skin, or even a skin disorder such as rosacea or eczema. Now, since it's an ophthalmologist tested formula, safe uh, contact lens wears, it will effectively remo remove makeup around the eyes, but in the treatment room, we're also pre-cleansing the entire face with this product, and this is done before the skin reading. Another product that I absolutely love is our Makeup Dissolver Perfected. Now, this is another non-stinging formula. The difference is it is a liquid that foams up into a gentle foam. It still contains the Merry Bright Complex, which is your calming Merry Golden Eye Bright, uh, plus this comforting orange flower extract. I like to choose this product for teens, preteens, male clients, if I'm going to be performing a peel, anyone that has an oilier skin type or they just don't prefer a creamy uh, texture. And once again, this is an ophthalmologist tested formula, so it's safe to use around the eyes and also over the entire face. The other thing I want to talk about are some other cleansing massage signature techniques. Now, this signature technique was designed to quickly get the makeup remover on the face, but also it's the first time you're you're really touching the client. So it's going to jump start the skin, but you'll also have a really, really nice uh, quick assessment of how touch sensitive this client is. It's going to relieve edema, it's going to increase blood circulation, exercise the muscles, the nerve endings, we're stimulating the sweat and oil glands. So we're really jump-starting the skin here, but yet we're driving in this product and we're touching the client, so we're relaxing them. So another pro tip here is the speed of your movements and the amount of pressure applied is it's up to you, you're in control, and that is singularly based on the sensitivity level of your client and you can adjust your pressure accordingly. Teresa, and as we move forward here um, in our cleansing, we're going to add a little bit of exfoliation during the cleanse step too, and this is fantastic. After you apply the appropriate elements cleanser to the face, you're going to apply a little bit of the exfoliating scrub, and about one wet scoop is absolutely perfect, and you put it in your hands, rub them together beautifully, and then you can distribute it by gently pressing over the chin and the forehead, avoiding the eyes, of course, and then just gently massage for about a minute, and you're going to be steaming through this whole thing, so it's going to be very, very uh, comforting for the client, just a wonderful physical exfoliation, so we can get all that crusty kind of surface debris lifted off the skin in a nice way that's still going to be very, very rich relaxing. And we have a great pro tip here. Um, when you're exfoliating during the cleanse step, it begins that detoxifying process by stimulating the skin. And you're removing excess dead skin cells that would otherwise hinder the product penetration later on. That's one of the reasons why clients sometimes um, say their products aren't working you need to add that exfoliation and that's the perfect time to have them come in and have a service again. Wouldn't you agree, Teresa? Um, it's going to be fantastic to help that detoxification in this treatment and you're starting right at the cleanse. So we're going to go on here to after we've done that wonderful um, introductory exfoliation. We're going to move on to the vitamineral D detox facial enzyme exfoliation. And if you see on the screen here, we have um, both of them listed here. So I'm going to talk about um, extra strength enzyme therapy first. This is an absolutely powerful double strength enzyme um, that's going to be powder form that's going to 
be a little more aggressive in exfoliation. Give that treatment of exfoliation to the stratum corneum, that top layer of the skin, and what the ingredients are that make it so very beneficial is propane and bromelain. They actually promote proteolytic or protein digesting actions with a wonderful stimulating cinnamon extract that's going to give both a chemical and a physical exfoliation at this point. And by doing that, you're going to be increasing circulation and help facilitate easy penetration of active serums coming up soon in that next step. But extra strength enzyme therapy can't be done by itself. It needs a partner. It's actually a powder. So we are going to talk about softening gel. We really refer to it as the workhorse in um, the bioelements treatment room. It actually is an all-purpose um, skin softening gel, actually. Its name is perfect. It can be used alone or blended as a treatment activator. And uh, for you guys that want to know a little bit more that what's in it, it has sodium bicarbonate, which helps balance that pH, which is so important. We're walking that teeter totter with the skin. We want to make sure we keep that uh, balance. And then we add fenugreek that helps draw out citric acid that's a wonderful antioxidant. And as with every product bioelements makes, we have something strong and effective, and then we have something that's balancing and calming at the same time. So here you see our aloe vera leaf, which is actually going to calm and soothe the skin. So it's going to soften the skin within the follicle. That's really important for those trap impactions that we got to easily slip out. So it's going to ease that comedome removal. It's not going to be painful. They're not going to be red and irritated. And it's going to help the skin um, absorb those active ingredients as we go farther with those ingredients and serums. So it's going to be fantastic at leading the skin down a very beneficial path. These two work very simultaneously together. Go ahead, Teresa. That's okay. I just wanted to make a quick announcement that we are going to create a special email for all of our attendees this week. So any questions that you typed in um, or that you've asked, we will have a nice little Q&A uh, with all the answers and send them out to you. Okay, so if you go ahead and type in your questions, and if you're not able to get a response during the webinar, you're going to get an email with all of the questions and answers so that you can continue to learn. Okay, now this leads me to um, another really, really important part of the facial, which is the skin sedation step. You never, ever want to skip this step. And that's because, you know, if you've exfoliated the skin, uh, sometimes the uh, stimulation isn't even visible at some cellular level. So you want to make sure there's no invisible inflammation. This is your insurance policy. So we're combining one blue scoop of softening gel a half a light scoop of emergency soothing powder, and these measurements are for the face only. So if you are going to apply exfoliant on the neck and the V area, you need to uh, increase this measurement um, for that as well. Now, I also want to talk about massage because besides being the uh, favorite part of most of our, our clients, is because it's so relaxing for the mind. It, it's distressing for the tissues, but it is another form of exercise. It is another form of detoxification because we are stimulating the skin circulatory system. We are moving toxins via the lymphatic system. Remember, the lymphatic system doesn't have a heart to drive it, so it's our touch, it's movement, it's product that helps to move that. This is also the time where we can help to reduce redness in the skin. Through our movements, through our touch, through the types of massage movements that we're uh, giving our clients, uh, we have complete control of how the skin responds, and that's that's pretty powerful. I think massage is, is wonderful for our health, uh, for the face as well as the body, because we're strengthening the skin by exercising the entire organ. We literally are personal trainers for our clients' skin. So to learn how to perform all of our signature techniques, including the bioelement signature massage, all you have to do is watch our bioelement signature technique video on bioelements.com 
forward slash probes. And, you know, while we're talking about massage, I would just like to highlight two products that are phenomenal for the spatial and, and many others that we offer. Hazelnut oil. I love this oil because, number one, it doesn't have any scent. So if you want to custom blend it with Bulgarian Rosado, one of our aromatherapist oils, or even Indian sandalwood, or wild French lavender, you can do that. Um, hazelnut oil on its own is incredibly nourishing and healing because of the vitamin E. The sweet almond oil, the grapeseed oil is moisturizing. It's water binding, so for clients that are suffering from TEWL and a loss of their natural moisturizing factor, this is, this is going to help them. Um, it's going to address dehydration. It's going to instantly plump up aging skin, lines, surface wrinkles, wrinkles and sensitivity. And the Bulgarian Rosa we've chosen to highlight because when you're dealing with sluggish, toxic skin, you need something that is going to rejuvenate. And Bulgarian rose, rose oil is known to not only be mentally and emotionally uplifting, it's also very stimulating to the circulation. And it's, it has natural decongestant properties and it's purifying. And it's not irritating and non sensitizing because it has a carrier oil alcohol that so can be applied directly to the face. You can also um, apply this oil to the scalp. Uh, all over the entire body. It, it's just amazing uh, oil to choose. And then I want to talk about capillary diffusion because our power treatment is all about increasing the skin's ability to transfer oxygen and nutrients to our cells and carrying away waste. Remember, we're talking about skin detoxification and the skin that is probably oxygen starved. So the, the first part is uh, where oxygen and nutrients, all the goodies, are delivered through the, the arterioles. And remember, these are permeable walls. So not only are the goodies able to pass out, all the toxins are being able to pass back in through the capillary wall once cells eat, nucleus takes what, what it wants, and then the waste products are carried away. Incidentally, the optimum age for capillary diffusion, this is going to depress you, <laughs> unless, you're, unless you're less than 22. Uh, 22 is the optimum age for capillary diffusion. So 23 and up, uh, you better start now increasing uh, the skin's ability to um, transfer oxygen and nutrients if you want uh, younger looking skin. And the best way to achieve this is through one of my very favorite products, oxygenation. Now, this is the only choice of power treatment for the facial because it is a ready-me treatment and it targets deoxygenated, oxygen-starved skin with our stabilized hydrogen peroxide. It also contains pure lavender oil, so it has a calming component. I love this product for acne because Stabilized hydrogen peroxide helps to kill acne bacteria. It's great for just tired, devitalized, uh, perfect for smokers, perfect for adult acne, perfect for anyone that, that just has a need for that breath of fresh air in their skin to instantly improve color, get all the goodies into the skin, and then help get all the toxicity out of the skin. So uh, it will be left feeling smooth, refreshed, and, and hydrated. But wait, there's more. There's a wonderful penetration technique that Barb's going to tell you about. So now that Teresa's really told us how fantastic oxygenation is, I'm going to let you know how you can use it in the treatment room. This is a wonderful product that can go home with your client, but you're going to use it a little differently in the treatment room. So you're going to take just one light scoop. That's all you're going to need of oxygenation. And apply it to the face and neck. You can use a bioelement treatment brush to beautifully put that on. I think that feels so absolutely fantastic. That brush just feels so relaxing. And perform the bioelements product penetration technique. You do not remove this. So you're going to actually aid in getting that deeper into the skin. Um, and our, we have a wonderful little pro tip here about that. 
the product penetration uh, bioelement and signature technique is a way to maximize the penetration of your power treatment. So we're really going to get oxygen to infuse into the skin and offer additional relaxation, calming effleurage, a little compression and acupressure to give that perfect treatment before we go ahead and put our uh, power mask on. Our the vitamin mineral D detox facial power mask is up next. And it's going to do its job very beneficially too. Teresa, did you have something to say? Oh no, I, I'm just okay. hanging on every word. Oh, oh okay. Great. I think you sorry. Tell me a little bit about this mask. It has tightening qualities to it. Um, the coconut charcoal actually has particles that work like a sponge to help draw out those toxins. I think that just works so phenomenally uh, to get that result in the client's skin. So let's take a look at these bullet points here. Um, the only mask choice that we're going to do in this treatment um, after our power mask is going to help filter out those toxins with that activated coconut charcoal, it deep cleanses those pores, allowing for much better penetration of the vitamin C and the minerals that are also in there. And toxins actually neutralize free radicals before they cause premature aging. So this treatment is just such a must. And it's going to target aging skin, the clients that have smokers issues, environmentally stressed skin and pigment in spots. And I've got another wonderful um, little did you know um, to let you understand this map just a little bit um, farther that did you know is so um, important I think. Activated coconut charcoal is derived from the ash that comes from the burnt coconut shell. I get that question a lot. Where does that come from? And it actually penetrates into the into the tissues and immediately begins to detoxify and stimulate circulation to draw those impurities in. And heavy metals is a big deal right now with the way our yeah. polluted environment is. It's going to help take that out of the skin. So I think that's just absolutely a fantastic part to what our treatment can do. And I'm going to let Teresa talk about um, this next product that we're so happy to have in this treatment. So now that we've, we've prepped the skin, we've softened it, we've formed extractions, we've fed the skin, we've oxygenated it, we've, just, we've uncovered this beautiful, fresh, vibrant new skin, we're not finished. Well, it's finished, but we're not finished. Um, now we're coming to the point where we can target yet another uh, problem that your clients are having. And, and it was interesting from your polls that most of you said that hyperpigmentation is one of the biggest requests that you're getting from your clients. So this is a perfect product to apply at the end of this treatment, the Lightflex Megawatt Skin Brightener. Now, with this formula, uh, which is hydroquinone free, by the way, this is going to address all types of pigmentation, whether it's UV, whether it's hormonal, whether it's PIH, whether it's triple action blended skin brightening ingredients. And we, have, we have another webinar that's going to focus specifically on the pigmenting and brightening facial, which is a great follow-up to this facial that we're talking about right now. Uh, but this product is applied all over the face, so it's going to give even luminous hydration to the skin. It will improve clarity and color and immediately begin to slow down melanin production and, and inhibit tyrosinase production to help the melanocytes to heal. And because it's hydroquinone free, it is safe for all its patch levels, for higher fit levels. It is not going to bleach the skin, okay? It's not going to cause cytotoxic death. So this is an incredibly safe and effective product that can be retailed to clients at home as well. So this is why we're applying it as the finished product here because it's, it's ready to go and it's addressing part of what we're dealing with when we're talking about skins that are in need of mega detoxification. 
And I'm just going to talk about some top at-home care products that you definitely want to professionally recommend afterwards. Yes, here is our top three that we think are, are phenomenal to give that maximum skin detoxification for at home. The first one is Advanced Vitamin Oral C Complex. In the middle there we have Terrafol. And then we have this brand new at home facial kit that I think is amazing. It's age fighting deep cleansing facial kit, which we will talk about in a second. Um, I want to just go over right now the advanced vitamin oral C complex so you can understand all its wonderful benefits. It's going to boost the age fighting and potent antioxidants in doses of natural cosmeceutical vitamin C that are going to help brighten and clarify the skin. As it's doing that, it's going to help fortify and defend against that illness that our clients are saying they're seeing and aging. And it's also detoxifying with the mineral firmness and smooth with natural essential oils. And it's absolutely great for all skin types, including acne and sensitive skin. This is the area where we're seeing a lot of that. Who needs it? Clients concerned about loss of firmness, lines and also wrinkles. And we're going to also give you a little bit of um, information on how you can sell this. So I'm going to give you a little information right now. Um, when you're looking at what this can do, we're going to need to talk and convey this to the client. So it's going to sound similar to this. Based on your skin concerns, I professionally recommend Advanced Vitamin LC Complex. Apply this non-greasy antioxidant cream all over your face and neck, and they can do this every day, every night, to target the sagging, dull skin, and help prevent signs of aging. It's going to absorb instantly, so it's not going to be laying on the surface, and it leaves skin glowing bright, feeling soft and smooth, and it can be applied under the bioelement sunscreen and also underneath whatever they're using as their night cream, whether it's sleepwear or a custom blended moisturizer of choice that you, you decide would be perfect. I'm going to let Teresa go ahead and talk a little bit about our Terrafol. Oh, my, one of my very favorite products. Terrafol is incredible for a skin that is sluggish, dull, and is in need of detoxification because this is a 10-minute deep purging facial mask. Now, this mask, it's incredibly stimulating because it has natural seaweed derived from carrageenan. It gently exfoliates with uh, malleable citric acid, and it has purifying essential oils. Now, it can be used a few times a week as a 10-minute mask uh, to reveal new radiance and skin that appears brighter and feels smoother, or it can be used as a careful purge, which I'll talk about in a minute. But again. Clients concerned about dull, lifeless skin, clogged pores, rough skin texture, just that dull, devitalized, resistive, that's the type of person that needs careful. And here's how to talk about it. I would say, you know, based on your skin concerns, I professionally recommend that you try our careful purge. Now, this is something that can be done every day for once a week. You can do this a few times a year, once a quarter. And this intensive treatment plan will sweep away dull and cells. Um, you would use this for seven days straight, no skipping. I'm sure many of you have already tried this. We've gotten lots of great comments from our, our partners out there. Your skin will look incredible. In seven days, all the impurities will be gone, and you will have clearer, smoother, and brighter skin. Um, it, 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 I can't say anything about it. It's just a wonderful product. So as we move forward, sorry, I'm so sorry. As we move forward from Terrafol, here's that wonderful seven-piece at-home facial kit. It's going to be great for a supplement for clients to use in between seeing you. It's also wonderful to suggest to a client that maybe has never had a facial and never maybe had um, a bioelements facial. This is something they can do at home. Um, it's a seven-piece at-home facial kit that helps um, to give a professional and instantaneous revitalizing um, boost to the skin with advanced formulas 
um, to target toxins and refine texture. It's really ideal to upkeep between our regular spa visits that I talked about. And it's the only way that clients can get the advanced vitamin O detox mask it's in two a professional use only. And it's a one-time service for them to use at home. It's going to revitalize dullness, lose tone, target skin, and aging skin. When I ask who needs it, I'm going to say, I do. Everyone does. It's fantastic. Clients concerned about aging, maximizing results in between facial. Clients cannot get in for a facial more than once a month. These are all people that are the perfect candidate for this. Um, clients that have never had a facial. Or you may want to entice them to try something in your treatment room. This is going to be perfect for them to go ahead and try. But here's a way that you can go ahead and suggest this to your client. Based on your skin concerns, you can say, I professionally recommend our h 5 d cleansing facial kit. You can use this in between facial treatments with me to keep your skin on track and to help with your congestion, dull skin, and rough texture. Um, you can also say, you know, I just want to keep your skin smooth and revitalized. This is going to be perfect for the clients that are having those issues. Definitely. So now we come to the point of our webinar where we have some Q&A and we've compiled some questions that we often get asked in class. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the first one. Can I offer this facial to someone that has very sensitive skin? And the answer really depends on, on you and your skin rating. Since the vitamin D detox facial has products with the steps that are very stimulating, we talked about a few of them, the extra strength and some therapy, the advanced vitamin D detox mask. This facial might be too much at first for someone that has a very sensitive skin. So it's up to you to decide, do we move forward with this facial or do we first offer that client the calming facial and then see how the skin progresses. Sometimes you have to, especially with a, with a client that has a lot of extrinsic aging factors and, you know, for lifestyle choices, you've got to let that skin heal before you can target it and detoxify it. That's a great point, Teresa. And I have another one here. Um, can I perform this facial on someone that gets occasional breakouts? And I would say, take a look in your skin rating. What do the breakouts look like? Um, we're going to say yes, you can go ahead and do this service for occasional breakouts unless they are really numerous or you see inflammation. For inflamed acne breakouts, it's really better to, to perform the bioelements acne clearing facial. The vitamin O detox facial is really beneficial for deep uh, congestion and milia that can, that can happen that often can occur with very sluggish skin because this is going to help work those toxins up and out of the skin. So if you're seeing that, then the, the advanced vitamin or the detox mask is perfect. But again, if there's inflammation, then possibly the acne clearing facial would be perfect. And there's no reason why you couldn't go in between these two depending on what you see in the skin as you're trying to stabilize those acne breakouts. That's right. That's right. And you have the power to do that. It's all, it's all up to you, and it's all based on the skin reading visit to visit. Uh, which leads me to my next question. Can this facial be offered as a series? And I'm going to give an emphatic yes, because for best results, you know, the, the skin didn't get this way overnight. So you can't expect one facial to completely get rid of all of the problems that probably took years to develop. So you can have your client come in every week or every other week for four to six treatments. Uh, again, based on the skin reading and what you think that skin can handle. And so there we go. There's our webinar. I will be posting this onto our pro site in the usual way. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, you can always ask me. Uh, I'm here as always, when you need me, uh, you will have my mobile and my email and I will talk to you soon. Have a lovely day.